lecture we will discuss about the example based on continuous beam now so first question is what is continuous beam so it is already discussed that whenever in a beam there is two or more span then it is considered as your continuous beam okay now just revise how much examples are completed in our previous lecture so first of all in the last lecture we will discuss about first two examples okay so in first example it is clearly mentioned that find out the value of capital w at collapse condition it means in the first example you have to find out collapse load okay so you can see that in this figure there is two span your first span is span a b and your second span is your span b c okay so all the steps are remain same as for kinematic method and after calculating the both span we have to find out what is the value of design collapse load so it is clearly mentioned that in the last lecture that we have to consider smaller value of these two value is your design collapse load okay so it is capital wc is equal to 7.5 mp by l okay so this is your example number 1 now we are moving further to the example number 2 which is find out plastic moment now you can see that in the first example we will discuss about collapse load in the second example we will discuss about plastic moment okay so this is your second example in which it is clearly mentioned that there is two span and these two span is your span ab and second is your span bc okay so re all the steps are remain same as kinematics method so what is the difference between example number 1 and example number 2 so the main difference is in the first example we have to find out collapse load okay and in the second example we have to find out plastic moment so in this example plastic moments it means moment and you all know that whenever you have to design any elements then you have to design it for maximum moments so after calculating the moments for both the span you can see that your value of moment for your first span it is 24 kN into meter and for second span it is 50 kN into meter so therefore you have to design this beam for maximum moment and your maximum moment is 50 kN into meter okay now we are moving further to the example number 3 but there is one question is arise okay so that question is you can see that the question is there is two span this span ab and this is your span bc okay and you all know that this span this support b is your internal support and your internal support is considered as your fixed support now if you are assuming that this is your fixed support and this is your simple support it means your second span which is the span bc is now prop cantilever beam and for prop cantilever beam and you can see that there is udl is acting throughout the span so for that case we have no any solutions okay so first of all for this kind of example we have to derive one derivation so this is your case number 8 so first of all we have to derive one equation of plastic moment okay so you can see that the question is find out collapse load or plastic moment for propped cantilever beam carrying a udl capital w kN throughout the span okay now you all know that this is the revision of your step 
your case number 127 but what is the change so this change is like that so you can see that this is the prop cantilever beam in which your one support is fixed support and another support is simple support so as per data given your prop cantilever beam is like this now it is clearly mentioned that in prop cantilever beam your udl is acting now what is the unit of udl the unit of udl is kilonewton by meter okay and it is denoted by small w now in case number six and in case number seven it is clearly mentioned that if your both the supports not responding to take the moments then that figure is considered as the symmetric figure for the support point of view in case number seven totally opposite because in case number seven there is fixed support and fixed support is takes a moment it means this is also a symmetric figure for the support point of view but you can see that in this case your left support it takes a moment and your right support it doesn't take a moment it means your figure is asymmetric in the support wise and that why that's why whenever you have to convert your small w to capital w you can see that your capital WC is not acting exactly at the center but this point load is acting at some distance and first of all we have to find out this distance x it means at which point your moment is maximum okay so you can see that it is assumed that our maximum moment is at a moment at distance x from hinge support so if this is distance x then this is distance l minus x okay now you all know that your step number one is to find out number of redundancy now what is the equation of number of redundancy it is capital r minus small r now what is capital r your capital r is number of reactions and you all know that your fixed supports reaction is 3 and your hinge supports reaction is 2 it means your 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 so this is your capital R value but you all know that if your both the supports restrain the horizontal force then you have to neglect it so your capital R and AD is equal to 3 now what is small r your small r is number of equilibrium conditions but you all know that if you have to neglect horizontal force then it is compulsory to neglect the equilibrium condition of horizontal force so it is 3 minus 2 is equal to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 okay now the equation of number of redundancy is capital r minus small r so your value of capital r is equal to 3 and your value of small r is equal to 2 it means your 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 now your next step is to find out number of plastic moment and the equation is number of redundancy plus 1 so it is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 it means in this system there is two points which takes moment and you all know that these two point is first point is at fixed support and second point is at the point of load okay so this is the revision of case number one to seven now for case number eight the difference is first of all we have to find out deflection shape and you all know that the distance is remain change it means this distance is not same then this is theta and this is theta one now your l minus x into theta but this value is the value of your deflection but whenever you have to find out for udl you have to use average deflection okay so the value of average deflection is l minus x into theta divided by 2 okay so this calculation is from 
left side. If similar calculation is done for right side, then it is x into theta 1. But x into theta 1 is the value of deflection. But you have to find out average deflection. So it is x into theta 1 by 2. Now, if this point is intersect at this point, if and only this both the deflection value is remain same. It means your L minus X into theta by 2 which is equal to X by 2 into theta 1. So, you have to make one relation between theta 1 and theta. Okay. Now, your external work done. Okay. So, what is the equation of external work done? So, it is WC into L minus X into theta by 2. So, this is the value of external work done and the equation is load into deflection under the point of load. Now, your internal work done, it means you all know that this is your fixed support. So, it takes moment. So, it is MP at the point of load or it is also called as under the point of load. It takes moment. So, MP is here and this is your simple support and your simple support doesn't take any moment. So, at this point, it is 0. Now, your total internal work is MP theta plus MP theta plus theta 1. But, your beam is balanced if and only your external work done is equal to your internal work done. Okay. So, now it is MP theta plus MP theta plus. Now, you have to use theta 1 is equal to L minus X by x into theta. So, if we are putting our theta 1 value in this equation, then this term is L by x. Okay. So, you can see that first of all theta is common and with the help of x, x is your LCM. So, this term is your MP theta into L by x. Now, MP theta is common in the both the terms. So, it is mp theta in the bracket L plus x by x. So, now your external work done and your internal work done is in the form of theta. Now, you have to equate both the values and made the mp is your subject and your equation of mp is wc into L minus x into x divided by 2 into L plus X. Now, first of all, we have to find out the value of X. It means at which point your moment is maximum for prep propped cantilever beam subjected to UDL throughout the span. So, whenever you have to find out any unknowns, then you have to use derivation with respect to X. So, for maximum value, we have to use del mp by del x. It means this mp's derivation with respect to x because x is unknown over here. Now, your d by dx of this is the equation of mp which is derived earlier. Now, you all know that your wc and 2 is constant. So, it is over and out. Now, d by dx of L minus x into x square divided by L plus x is equal to 0. Now, this is dividend rule. d by dx of a by b, it means b derivation of a minus a derivation of b divided by b square is equal to 0. Okay. So, students, after calculating all these things, your final answer is x square plus 2lx minus l square is equal to 0. Now, with the help of simple mathematical solution, you have to find out your value of x is equal to l in the bracket root 2 minus 1. So, it is 0.414l. It means in the cantilever beam, your maximum 
value of moment is at a distance of 0.414 L from the hinge support. It means from the right support. Okay. So this is the value of X. Now we have to put this value of X in equation number one. So whenever we have to put X is equal to 0.414 L, then this is our final answer. So it is MP is equal to WCL divided by 11.656. But this WC is our capital WC. It means this WC is in the form of kilonewton. But if in the exam your capital WC is not given and your UDL is given in the form of kilonewton per meter, then what is the change? Then you have to put your capital WC is equal to small w into L. So your final equation is MP is equal to WL square divided by 11.656. Okay. So now we are moving further. So our example number three. So you can see that this is your example number three in which the question is find out the value of MP for the continuous beam as shown in figure and take load factor is equal to 1.5. Now what is load factor? So it is already discussed that your load factor is your factor of safety. It means this 40 kilonewton and 20 kilonewton per meter is your working load. So first of all, we have to convert this working load to factor load. So 40 into 1.5, it is 60 and 20 into 1.5, it is 30. Okay. Now you can see that this is your simple support. At this point, moment will takes and this point, this support is your fixed support. It means at this point, moment will be released at this point this point takes moment and this point also takes the moment so for span a b first of all we have to find out deflection shape and after calculating deflection shape our external work done is equal to load into deflection under the point of load so it is 120 theta and your internal work done so you all know that this point load is acting exactly at the center because this is 2 meter and 2 meter. So at this point moment is 0. At this point moment is MP into 2 theta and at this point it is MP into theta. So your internal work done is 3 MP theta. Okay. Now after equating both the values your value of MP is 40 kilonewton into meter. So this is your answer number one. Now we are moving further to the second span and your second span is our case number eight. And whenever your case number eight is applicable, then you have to use direct equation. So your direct equation is WL square by 11.656 okay there will be some mistakes so it is 11.656 so students there will be some calculation mistakes so you have to revert back and calculate it with the help of galaxy okay so students this is the end of today's session thank you